Welcome to the second part of the video. This is where we have featured a lot of Indian houses that have got some nice leather fragrances and we are looking at number 10. So we'll start off with uh, from the house of Yasmin Fragrances uh, and they have this uh, in part of the Lux line called as Saddle Noyer. This is an alt of Byrodus uh, Celium. Now this particular fragrance is very very nice because this has got a lot of good elements at the, uh, you know, at the same time. This will open up to you as a very dominant, predominant leather fragrance but then slowly after that it starts to open up with a lot of different elements. Now, this fragrance has got you know black tea it's got cashmere in and all of that and i kind of did a spray a few minutes back of this particular fragrance so i kind of you know uh, know how this is so it on the uh, opening it's a very strong animalic tone that you kind of get but after a few minutes it kind of softens up and then you start getting that cashmere feeling that is there on this particular fragrance and there's also black tea and all of those elements and then it becomes a very nice lightly lightly mildly sweet kind of a fragrance uh, at the same time you know it's got a little bit of that ambriness it's got less nice tartness to this particular fragrance and this is something that you should definitely consider getting uh, this is Byrodo Cellier this is again a good uh, you know evening wear uh, you know casual wear kind of a fragrance I wouldn't recommend this for office wear uh, you know uh, uh, especially in, uh, under indoor uh, conditions this might be a uh, very strong off-putting for somebody but then if you're looking at, uh, as uh, outgoing uh, you know out, you know casual wear outside and then I think this particular fragrance works well even in day it performs well it lasts pretty long you can check out the full review of it uh, on the uh, Yasmin Lux line video that I have in my channel so you can definitely try this so this is Saddle Noyer from the house of Yasmin fragrances this is an alt of Cellier from the house of Byredo next one is number 11 and this is one of my favorite fragrances from uh, recent uh, purchases that I've had and this I'm talking about from the house of uh, Musna fragrances this is the uh, this is the fragrance that's called Kanza, which is basically the Kenzo EDP. Now, what I like about this particular fragrance, in my opinion, this is an excellent day wear, office wear kind of a fragrance. I'm running out of spaces to wear. I don't like... Uh strips because primarily I feel that strips give out a different vibe and I like my fragrances to sniff on my skin so that's what I like so this particular fragrance has got a light leather note it's got a good mineral uh, accord to it it's got nice woody elements to it and it's got a more uh, aquatic element as well slightly also the EDT is more uh, marine kind of a thing but this is more leathery more minerally that kind of a woody element kind of a fragrance with a bit of leather on it and this leather makes for an excellent day wear kind of a fragrance it's easily one of the nicest leather fragrances that you can wear for office and uh, in, a, in the day wear it's really really good it projects decently well about two to two and a half feet lasts about five to six hours time easily and uh, Musna has done a really nice job and a very few people actually have got Kenzo EDP alt as such and uh, you know this is one of the nicer ones that I've tried and you can definitely enjoy this this is not very loud like the others in terms of or not harsh or not animalic at all it's very soft gentle it's it's more of that mineral note on this particular fragrance than the leather note. The leather is just a sub actor, but I feel this is a very good leather fragrance on the whole to try. So this is Kenzo EDP from the house of Musna Fragrances. This is, I think, number. All right, number twelve. So that was number eleven. So number twelve is a very nice fragrance. This is, a, a, you know, a extended version of the uh, Diorum Intense. You can consider so Diorum Intense is a Parfum Edition. This is the Diorum Parfum. Uh, this is basically the same dear room uh, dna but with oud and leather and what makes for this particular fragrance very nice is the accord of uh, iris and uh, you know which is there uh, and uh, even lavender for that matter which has got that nice woody uh, element it's got that powdery aromatic vibe just like our umo intense but while umo intense is doesn't have oud all in that in this particular fragrance there's a little bit of oud as well so that gives this particular fragrance a nice vibe and people who like dear room intense as uh, you know dna uh, especially will love this particular fragrance because this has got a little bit of that lipsticky vibe it's got a little bit of that slight sweetness but because of the leather and wood this has got a much longer performance it's got a much uh, you know longer projection and you know uh, uh, lasting as well so all of that make this particular scent a very lovely date night kind of scent. again just like Umo Intense this can be a very very good date night scent so when you consider date night scents if you're looking at Dosh and Gabbana the one uh, or if you're considering Umo Intense and all of that uh, even a DHI for that matter when you want to take this one step forward and get a little bit of leather and oud accord to it then I would say definitely enjoy this particular fragrance because this is very very beautiful and uh, this is from the house of Scentedelic this is Timeless 3.0 it's a highly recommended fragrance that I would say when you want to try a date night evening wear leather kind of fragrance which is soft 
gentle and can get you a lot of compliments. Number 13, and this is another fragrance like I like Ombre Nomad, which I said, you know, it can go both wood and leather. This is Maiden. This is from the house of Al Maham. This is a fragrance which is an alt of Maiden uh, uh, Spirit of Dubai. Now, this particular fragrance is more of leather but uh, and wood, but in the leather here, it's more, uh, more uh, suede leather types. Okay, but most importantly, what you kind of get is there's a lot of floral elements. There's a lot of fruit elements on this particular fragrance. But more than all of that, you get a very clean, neat fragrance is what I would say. This is not one of those fragrances which has got a lot of going at the background while there are a lot of components. Uh, this particular fragrance is very clean, very beautiful, subtle in my opinion and um, this is loud. Okay, the while uh, subtle would be a word to kind of you know, say its character but in, in terms of its performance, this is a, a loud fragrance and this kind of you know does really really well. Now what you get is a very nice um, you know a warm spicy type of element you get a nice suede leather you get a little bit of oud running at the background and simple and yet it's very very beautiful a little like a little like I would say uh, one man show oud edition where the oud is you know very linear and that kind of thing I would feel a little like that about Maiden and I would highly recommend you to try this particular fragrance as one of the nicer leather scents out there which you can definitely explore uh, again performance is good price tag you will have to contact Al Mom to see you know what's the offer running and you know uh, get a decant or get uh, you know get a 10 ml decant of a couple of fragrances and i think that should be very good for you to last for a long time or you can go in for a full bottle as well right so that was maiden from the house of almaham which is an alt of maiden spirit of dubai next is number 14 this is a fragrance called leatherwood now this is from the house of rj perfumers this is one of my recent finds that i uh, you know got to know recently when i was you know reviewing his uh, fragrances and then this is an alt of christian dior's leatherwood now this particular fragrance has got a lot of uh, civet mask it's got a little bit of leather it's got a lot of other elements to it but predominantly it's also got smoky elements warm spicy elements but when you kind of do a spray on this particular fragrance you get a very a uh, nice opening which is very sharp uh, you know it's got a nice uh, element of light sweetness to it you know not very uh, sweet because most of the leather fragrances are not sweet but because it's got wood it's got civet and it's got a little bit of that smoky element to it you get a lightly sweeter lightly toned down version of leather and wood playing along very very nicely this one also performs really well i would say this is in a good uh, fragrance for you to go in for rides especially if you're going on for a long rides day where you want a leather perf uh, you know fragrance that last long you are you know riding with the group and all of that parties all of that you can definitely try this uh, in my opinion you can wear it to office maybe with a couple of light sprays you can do and you can try this particular fragrance but mostly it would be an excellent evening wear type of fragrance especially for parties and all of that this would be a good one to try now uh, this one also has got a good amount of projection about two two and a half feet performance is about five six hours easy on this particular one and look at the juice color on this one it's pretty dark very nicely done fragrance and it's got a very refreshing take because of that civet mask you know unlike the other fragrances here which have got uh, a, you know a strong bold note to it this is it's got a little bit of pleasantness which makes this particular fragrance very very good for you to try so this is leather root from the house of rj perfumers okay so this is number 14. number 15 on this list is a fragrance called as beerus from the house of centedelic which is an alt of falcon leather from the house of matthew premier now this is a very nice fragrance because this has got a one unique composition to it this has got mineral note on this particular fragrance along with leather as well so this particular fragrance while it opens up as a very strong uh, you know leather note and you know uh, SK's uh, version is very very nice but after some time you start getting that metallic vibe to it the mineral note just like how can you know this is there this has got a mineral vibe whereas this particular fragrance I said is a little softer on its entire scent profile this is pretty loud okay so it's a very loud strong bold kind of a fragrance but it's a very unique fragrance because of that uh, you know uh, note of mineral one second this fragrance has got something called as birch tar okay now tar or birch tar is on the birch trees you have a black element which is uh, basically like you know the bark of that tree which is getting the you know black shade now that can be used to recreate a leather note uh, you know which, uh, as a you know it smells like leather uh, and can be used as a natural commodity so that is what is used in this particular fragrance which gives that nice element of that mineral vibe along with that leather a slight hint of sweetness just like how you have it in uh, you know leather uh, and wood of Dior so very nice fragrance overall again I would say this is something uh, casual wear kind of a fragrance evening wear 
good not very suited for office i would say this you can definitely avoid for office right so this is number 15 from the house of centrally now after these fragrances a couple of honorable mentions that i would like to give you, uh, give is one is leather jardin from the house of zara i don't have that but i've smelled that and it's really really nice it's a fantastic leather fragrance that you can definitely try you can definitely try leather intense from the house of uh, salvitaro um, in faragomo which is also an excellent light leather fragrance for office use very very nice very subtle does not annoy anybody you can definitely try those as well so those are a couple of recommendations that i would uh, you know say or honorable mention but on the whole this has been my list of 15 leather fragrances especially for folks who want to try leather fragrances uh, from middle eastern houses from indian houses day wear evening wear all of that and definitely a lot of variety of uh, you know leather fragrances so you don't necessarily think that it's only a winter set of fragrances you can definitely wear them in the day as well and i hope you kind of really like this uh, video right so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe and share a lot of effort goes into making a list like this creating videos trying to remember notes and the send profile all of that so thumbs up comment and you know uh, sharing would really motivate and help so if you like this video please do that on you know you're watching the perfume experience my name is rodney see you in another one bye now